Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Warmer for Decay Inquisitor Martyr in our in another round actually. Um, and we are here with the investigation, the next step. Um, so let's take a look um, at the background. The case is again a the heretic uprising and the mission preview. Several imperial strongholds fell in the last few hours, and the cultist filth is now searching surging through a choke point about to tear into our vulnerable flank a uh, vulnerable flank i meant sappers have been sent out to blow the choke point and the enemy advance sky high objective push the cultist vanguard back to make room for the sappers clear the entire area of hostiles to complete the mission and as you can see the challenge is at 275 which is a little bit above us so we have decreased damage plus uh, increased incoming damage so we are going to take um, some imperial guardsmen with us that is nice and um, we have to exterminate all enemies that we shall try out right now weapon sets switch between your crypt weapons with the tap key that i do now Ah, multi -malter. I actually have never used a multi -malter, although I have seen the, um, when, um, what I actually looking forward to when the early access started on Steam, Neo Congress actually uh, released a cinematic teaser where you see an Inquisitor with a Thunder Hammer and then he lightens the hammer that looked so amazing. So honestly, I would like to take on the, um, I would like to get a uh, close combat crusader plus, ah, damn it, uh, plus some, um, you know, plus some thunder and action. So, that one. please don't get into there, guys. That would be not good. So, first of all, I will go to kill you. Switch there to our relic auto cannon. What? I didn't get that which is just amazing. So we lost our first one and they don't seem to have um, less guns anymore. Before the last content patch, the Imperial Guardsmen, which guarded you, actually had um, less guns and not the other. Oh, please get out of the way, guys. Thank you very much. All right, that one's down. We reload right now. And um, if you have not seen one of the last episodes, I don't, I can't uh, recall now when we got it. Um, our, um, our, like a second, our, get out of there, please, guys. Our auto gun actually is a relic weapon, which I got after a mission. So with the last big content patch, the relic weapons have been enabled before there only were the usual the, the yellow ones the normal ones the rare ones the mastercrafted ones and with the current content patch you can find the orange ones as well which are relic weapons or the best weapons in the game so far and we are lucky enough to have one that is quite cool but the thing is, um, you can't always go from keeping it because, as you can see, the last two content patches actually um, were with uh, character wipes. So um, it's better to find one when the game finally comes out than in um, the time before. But anyhow, I'm, I'm, I'm glad to have found a relic weapon. That is a quite a nice feeling, I think. So, we then shall kill this little marauder here. Come on. And one magazine is enough for him, that's good. And I have to remember to use my grenades, yes. Be wasteful with your equipment. As I, um, I think I already said that before one time. Um, what I think would, in, would be great if you actually could. Um, so now we get our turret. If you could, um, I don't get it. Um, 
uh, grenades and inoculators you have to pick up by clicking on it and if a mob actually drops um, a equipment or whatever then you do not have to walk about it it is you know put into inventory automatically and i do not know why you all like you know these crafting ingredients which you do not have to pick up as well so i do not quite understand why you have to pick up the inoculators and grenades by hand so anyhow that makes the ban uh, the game of course not bad it still is a ton load of fun i had no, at that with a game because you know you you want to um, further equip your um your character you want to have new gear and that i have the game is in that way um really really well done i think grenade out we have enough and oh it wasn't the best damage actually i regret that so that one is down so then I will take down the commander, let's reload and I want to switch back to our pistols then as well. Because you know they are amazing as well. So with that let us bring down this ugly Ogryn, or Ogryn to be precise. And then we take out these guys. Alright, down they are. We can then pick up some grenades. So. We do not get low on grenades. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Is see anything there or even inoculators? I'll take them. Just in case. Alright, gotcha. Nice, nice, nice. And there we are. As someone said there, of course they are um, stated that they are going to erase all characters before the final game comes out that is logical isn't it um, so there I never saw a way that they would release the game and then um, and then bring out you know and then that you keep the characters that has never been happened in a game before all right so let's open up this door come on open up open up it would be what I think would be really cool if the uh, guests they would actually kill the young people as well and not only you. This is a champion man, he does quite a lot of damage. So inoculator take him. Good. I d why did I die? I did use a inoculator. I Good lord, it was a nice damage output there. What I'm still um, wondering is actually that um, when you die, that the respawn point I think is sometimes weirdly um, set, so I hope they are gonna bring that and make that better. Sometimes you respawn just a couple of meters away from where you died and sometimes you, like now, you die and get spawned a half a kilometer away, <laughs> to say it like that. So, some ingredients. By the way, I started crafting three items, I think two signums and a purity seal. Just, you know, just let it run. It takes half an hour each to craft, but I I always wanted to craft more and I actually never did it, so that was now the point to bring it on and just let it craft. So, there are just a couple of enemies remain. We bring down our nice Tarantula sentry gun. Preserve and save us the ball. Give them death. Yes, that is what I'm trying to do, mate. So just four enemies, two enemies remain, and we got it. Um, preservance favors the ball. Alright, let's open up the chest and then we are finished with this mission. Alright, you served your pro-royal inquisitor. Thank you very much, mate. Then 
let's see what we got here and how the investigation goes on. So we got some credits, that's nice. That's of course always nine and there we have a less gun. And alright, some stuff. Priority assignment. I really get need to get used that it's not called investigation anymore. <coughs> so priority priority assignment stage three. You held the Caltus Horde at bay until the Sepals laid their explosive charges and then blood limbs and mangled flesh rain from the sky. Next step, situation update, one crisis averted, several more arose. The situation is even more desperate than before. The cultists have employed Sepals and mined a section of the perimeter. The explosion wiped out a swath of troops and many cultist assaulters as well. Mission priority, the cultist subhumans have swamped and mm, a monitorium and a large cache of guns have fallen into their hands, destroyed the plundered before they depart with the spoils. Alright, that shall do, but in the next episode we have a new skill tree, that is of course nice, and 20, 72 damage, and you can see that is just... I think an amazing weapon and worth 70,000 credits, that's nice as well. Are you a upgrade? No, you are not anything here. No, then let us take a look, they should be taking still 15 minutes. Alright, as you can see a new implant we are crafting, a purity seal, a signum and another new implant. Whether they are going to be good or not, we will find out one other episode. With that, I will end this. Um, I will end this episode and I really thank you for watching guys. If you enjoyed this episode, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and I will see you in the next episode. Until then, have a nice day. Stay frosty. Bye.